So when you think about setting up your e-commerce site, there's a lot of things that go into it that people don't realize. So I hear this all the time. I want everything, all of my frames on there. I want every single thing on there. Well, there's a layer of cost there and a layer of management there that you have to think about. First of all, just plain getting the assets. So you carry various frames. You want to get photos of all of those to have the photos on there. Then if you're going to do virtual try on, then you also need 3D assets of all of those things. So people don't realize what all is involved in that. So they, they come into it with, first of all, the wrong goals in mind. Uh, they're not trying to sell to the online consumer. They're just trying to create a digital version of their dispensary, which really is the wrong thing to do for a number of reasons. But that's not the focus of this video. I just want to kind of go into what all is there in creating your e-commerce site for it to be successful. So you need those 2D images, you need 3D images, but it's way, way more than that. So for every frame and everything you put on there, you also need a whole bunch of SEO behind it. So every frame that you upload, you not only need the photos to, to really draw that consumer in, but you need people to be able to find your site and finding your site comes through really strong SEO. So you also need for each of those frames a long string of SEO uh, enhanced search terms that help people who are out there just searching for a red round frame to find your site. So there's a lot that goes into this and it, the expense and the time involved can really, really add up. Uh, some of your frame vendors, uh, one of the things we do is we provide our clients with uh, the 2D images as well as the strings of SEO terms, uh, a CSV file that they can upload into their online shopping cart, which not only has the 2D images, has the product descriptions, the sizes, and all of the SEO terms, and it uploads in a matter of seconds. The, the time savings and the money savings that you would uh, spend with your web developer to get it to that point is is just astronomical and it's really taking away from the margin of every single frame that you put online so you know whether you're an optical uh, retailer or some other kind of retailer it's it's good for you to think about your products and think about how you get them to the online shopping cart and what all is involved in getting those assets and then also having really solid SEO for all of those assets. All of these things can eat into your margin. And so it's my goal when I'm working with a client, I give them all of that. Uh, not only that, but we've preloaded our app with over 2000 uh, 3D assets that are the highest quality 3D assets. Uh, there's some roundabout ways that you can get some really cheap, fake looking assets out there. I, I don't suggest going down that road. Um, so what the online consumer is looking for, it's, it's typically a value price sale um, and it's not your whole inventory. So don't focus on getting your whole inventory on there. Focus on getting the right products on there and focus on getting them on there in, in a quality way with the SEO that you really, really need to capture that audience.